know, I've played for, for a long time before I managed to win something and then all of a sudden it all come at once and like you said, it's been three and a half years now that I've, I've managed to win the five major trophies. So for me, it's been, I feel, uh, I feel grateful. I feel that hard work's paid off and um, I feel more hungry, even though, like you just said, you've, you've done the five. It's the most amazing feeling in football to win something, especially like what we've just done this year when we've won the league. Uh, when the whistle blows in the Champions League final, when we won that, um, it was incredible for me. It was like a, he kind of just rode the wave. I come from Bolton mid-season, and we went on this amazing journey through the, through the Champions League, as everyone knows, the Barcelona, the two legs in the semi, all the drama that came with it, and to reach the final, uh, and to obviously start the game, when the final whistle went at the end, and we knew that we'd obviously won it. For me, it was the first time I've won anything. So to win such a major competition the first time, the feeling was uh, incredible. Great guy, great guy. I think in terms of, I don't even need to speak about his football ability. I think <clears throat> what he's done in the game, like I said, and the success he's had at Chelsea and the things he's won has been uh, incredible. Um, he's scored so many great goals, but also as a character, as a person, he's a, he's a, he's a great guy. Um, and as a character in the dressing room, he's massive. He's a big part. He's kind of like, um, he is captain leader material. Some cases, yeah. Some cases, no. I think you can gather that along the way. I think you need it for sure. You need it in football, 100%. Especially if you're going to get to the level of playing in the Premier League. I think, like you said, every Premier League club is under pressure to do well. Therefore, the pressure comes onto the players and the manager. And um, there's always people either in front of you who's got more experience and has been around a lot, or these players that are behind you that are coming up and fresh young players that wanting to take your space and your place. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I think you need it. You need to be mentally strong, and also you know it's not like us in this season. Even with myself, this season at times you you um, you might take criticism. You might take you know oh, he's out of form or he's playing not playing well and this and that. And as long as you got the mental strength to come through it and you're confident in your own ability and keep working hard, then no problem. But for sure, you need it. Yeah, I think I like playing FIFA to be fair. Uh, when I get that time, it's good. Uh, I don't know, I, I think if you ever do a training session in football and the manager says to you, um, play where you want, in a weird way, the, the forwards kind of go in defence, defenders go up front. <laughs> I think it's just because it's, it's a change in it. And obviously, growing up, you know, everyone wants to be a centre forward scoring goals. Um, so, I don't know, maybe that. Go away with the family. Um, kind of forget about football for a little while because it's so intense during the season. Forget about that. Go away with the family. Live a normal life. Go to, uh, you know, take the kids on holiday. Do, do, do normal things and give a chance to see family and friends that you maybe don't see during the season because it's so busy. <laughs> Not in a major way, but I have thought about it. Um, I spoke about it earlier actually. I'm not kind of sure what I'm going to do at the minute. I'd like to think I'm 29 now, so hopefully I've got a few years left in me. So I'd like to think in a couple of years, maybe I have a clearer idea. But um, at the minute, they're just ideas. Uh, so I'm not quite sure. 